Easy skip my app. これから私が天に行くと。Alright, what is going on, you guys? This is your boy, the Death Smasher, and welcome back to yet another Bleach Brave Souls video. And yo, I see so many of you guys calling it an easy skip, and I will say this when I saw that the characters didn't have status summons, I was like, I don't know how to feel about this. Surely they have to do something. So, obviously, I said, let's wait for the stats and skills. Everyone was calling this Thousand Year Blower a complete premium banner that was easy to skip. Well, turns out that all of this happened to pretty much be a lie because these are by far one of the most broken and game changing characters that we have in the game. So, let's just go ahead and get into the actual skills. So, as you guys saw from how I basically said how easy skip my. Well, you guys already know what there is to see. So, Ichigo, he is already potentially gonna be the best heart unit that we have in the game and surpassing Aizen. I wouldn't say for every single content that we have in the game, but he is definitely looking to be like the number one character for heart because let's just get into it. So, for starters, yeah, you guys already know he is gonna be a melee s t r o n g attack character and we've already seen the gameplays. He's gonna have. Two new types of skills, and look at this damage to enemies not afflicted by an ailment of 100%. And that already fixed the problem of how you can do characters with no status ailments, it's gonna make them pretty strong. But then they gave him this hit underground enemies plus pierce iron skin. Do you guys know what this means? Do you guys know what this means? It means that any unit that gets Pierce Iron Skin will be able to completely negate damage reduction against the mobs in Inheritance Trials. Overall, amazing. Amazing. This is such a huge quality of life skill that will just make any type of IT fun and it'll just make things easier to the point that you don't need to 5 out of 5 characters anymore. IT has now officially become IZ in terms of level of difficulty thanks to this skill alone. Like, literally, it was all because of Iron Skin as to why we needed to get units 5 5. You wanted to at least get the unit 2 out of 5 in order to completely kill off the mobs in that game mode in and of itself. And now, <laughs> IT has literally become. IZ because of this skill in and of itself. Let's just go ahead and take a look at everything that Ichigo has to offer. So, for starters, he is gonna have double killers, a ronker, and no affiliation. Honestly, he should have gotten holo killer. It's been so long since we've have gotten a heart holo killer, and the last one that was SP based was SPS Lisa, and we literally just had an a ronker killer for heart, which was literally CN. So, I don't know why they decided to make him an a ronker killer again. I'll take the no affiliation killer though because I think the last one was potentially Christmas Nini. But、uh, yeah, let's just take a look at everything else. He's gonna have strong attack reach this time of minus 14%, really nice, has a really high cooldown. Read all affiliation dodges, really damn nice. Basically the same skill that Thousand Year Blower Eisen has. Also has long stride and team party recover 20% stamina. That is actually really nice. And then, oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. He's got Frenzy Plus 2, Havoc at 20%, Bruiser 40%. I think I would have replaced Bruiser for Berserker, honestly speaking. Spurner plus two, Marauder, and then also has shared complete status immunity, which is already in and of itself really damn crazy. He is potentially looking to be number one of the heart characters, even though I do see that in content like guild quests and PvP, Aizen is just gonna be that much of a better character than Ichigo, but everything PV content, I do see Ichigo being better than 6th anniversary Aizen as a heart character. And that's just my personal opinion alone. So that's all I gotta really say about Ichigo. And we already know the kit, so already he's definitely one of the best characters that we have in the game. So, yeah. And then we have Uryu. And look at that, he also gets the Pierce Iron Skin ability. But this time, it's paired up with Garbage. I like this. This is actually a really great way to include the actual skill because 
either with guard break or hit underground enemies, you can combine the skill in and of itself, which is actually insane and also has technique attribute character strong attack damage of 20%. So similar to what Hollow Lisa has, it's basically going to be the same skill that when Uryu is paired up with any other tech character, any type of tech unit will get that 20% Berserker, not just him, which is actually pretty nice. And he too also has double killers being Soul Reaper and Captain. Not bad. Really good. Really damn good. Recharge time of minus 12%. 20% stamina recovery, have a get 20% and sprinter. And uh ooh, look at this. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> He's got bruiser of 40%, which pretty much could have been replaced with uh nullify melee resistance at 100 percent I mean, wait, he's a ranged character, right? Okay, my bad. Nullify ranged resistance at 100 percent And uh yeah, berserker of 60%, frenzy plus one, bombardment, guard break plus pierce, iron skin, and also has all three of the farming skills being speed droplet drop of 30%, speed link slot potions plus 5, and super speed link slot potions of plus 5, and that is actually crazy. What, what, he even has damage at inflicted at full stamina of 20%, as well as the new skill. Bro, already Uryu, keep in mind, is gonna have freaking 100% overall total damage that he is gonna do with all of his strong attacks, and he can also recover stamina in between the quest areas, so like this character is pretty damn stacked in skills. And by the way, the SA1 that Uryu has is basically the 750 AoE in front, so basically the same exact strong attack as Spirits Are Forever with you, Yoruichi. So already really good, and this character is better than Roka by default. Like literally, he basically had what I wanted Roka to have, a better SA1 with a homing vortex. Like. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Roka is dead for IT. You're gonna want to use this Uri right here because he is a super Link Saw Potion character and he can nullify Iron Skin against every single enemy mob and he's already gonna be future-proofed for every single IT that we have in the game. It's mad insane. Oh wait, let's take a look at the arena abilities. Okay, nothing too crazy, but I've heard that Ichigo gets... Oh my god, Ichigo really got Frenzy plus three in arena. Good god, man. Good god. And finally, Chad, who is going to be the PvP character of the banner. You guys would think that he would have Captain Killer. Well, yeah, he does. But on top of that, Stern Raider Killer? Yo, that, that is kind of weird. That is actually kind of weird. And honestly, if they really wanted to give him double killers, I think No Affiliation Killer would have been the right way to go because Yuha is not a Stern Raider. He's a No Affiliation character, so... I think that would have worked way more in his favor over Stern Raider because let's be honest here, the only dominating Stern Raider is basically Drew Graham. And with the fact that we have a three-way invincible PvP team, Drew Graham has kind of lost his touch and with the release of Chad, it's going to be even more for that. But let's just take a look at everything else. So he's going to be a melee normal attacking character. He has boost on the SA2 as we saw, and then also has damage to enemies not afflicted by an ailment of 100%. So basically the same skill as Thousand Year Blower Ichigo, but it's going to be for PvP and he's going to be hitting hard. But let's just take a look at everything else. He's going to have DR of 16%, weak enemy, poise, and sprint plus 1. And then the skills, oh my goodness, oh okay, let's take a look at everything else. He has long reach. Wow, that is so beautiful, bro. I, <laughs> it's been a good minute since uh, we've had a flurry-based character with a long reach, and oh, he also has guard break plus hit in enemies. Whoa, that's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's just take a look at everything else. Oh, he doesn't have Bruiser. That's actually crazy. But honestly speaking, this skill of being able to do 100% damage really does make it up for that stead. So yeah, that being said, I'll say this for Melee Captain GQ, if you're running 6th Anniversary Aizen for whatever reason, uh, Chad's damage multipliers is definitely going to be heavily nerfed to the point that you don't want to use him in guild quests, like you want to mainly prioritize him in being used in PvP. And right now, as it stands, PvP, he's going to be really good to use because none of the characters except for Yuha inflict the status on it. So there's that to keep into mind. He also has Enhancer, Booster, Pierce Barrier, Prevent Last is Survival, and also has Damage Reduction of 50% when at half stamina. And uh, yeah, this character is actually just going to be a really good PvP character, and they even decided to also make him good for PvE by giving him Guard Break plus Hit Hidden Enemies. Really damn good! Like, it's crazy. It's actually really damn crazy. And he even has Star Power Up Item of plus 2 in Arena. Wow. 
Jesus, that's a lot of freaking damage multipliers that Chad has, despite not having Bruiser. Honestly, I would have taken away the 60% Berserker and possibly given him like freaking 50% Bruiser. I think I would have made that if I wanted to make him even more broken. So yeah, no Flurry Plus 2 like the other units, but what they did with this character is actually very interesting that it just works. It'll be interesting to run him in PvP and see how he fares against the likes of Yuha, Chad, and Kuriyoshiki. I'll definitely say that he's gonna kill the Kenpachis just fine in PvP, and he'll definitely hold his own against Yuha unless uh, he gets inflicted by a status on it because uh, Chad is not immune to uh, paralysis and drain. So there's that to keep into consideration. And now let's take a look at the banners. We've already seen everything that needs to be seen for the skills. And not the best. It could have been a lot worse, but like, uh... Thing is, these characters have all been replaced by way better characters, and why the hell are these three characters here? I'm sorry, but didn't we not just have these Thousand Year Blower characters in the previous Step Up Thousand Year Blower banner? Like, come on, man. Like, where's Daddy Ichigo? Where's Mummy Rukia? Where is, I don't know, the, the Stern Riders? I think I would have preferred seeing the Stern Riders in here over these three characters. And then they just decided to slap in Aizen, Yamamoto, and Soifon for the hell of it. I mean, Soifon still has her uses in guild quests, but that's just about it. Yama, <laughs> there's better holo killers. Aizen, he's really whack. Toshiro's okay, but like nothing too crazy unless they resurrect him and give him havoc and also up the Berserker. Nemu, there's just better. Miyuri's just meh. Izuru, he doesn't have guard break, but funny enough, I don't have them as well as Mayuri, so getting them will actually be in my favor. So that way I can complete the remaining Thousand Year Blower characters that I'm missing. Trojo is okay. He's pretty good to use in Captain Guild Quests, especially melee Captain GQ, but only when at 5-5, so there's that. And then uh, Tech Yamamoto, he's okay. He's going to be really good when at 5-5 for IT, but other than that, there's just way better tech characters. So yeah, the filler isn't really all the best that there is, and keep in mind, this is going to be a 7-step banner, so what I would really advise for you guys to do is do the 7 steps, and then if you're still missing one of the main 3 characters, I'd recommend saving for the individuals, because the individuals, they're actually a lot better than I have actually seen beforehand, because here's what we have, so who do use individual banner? Oh wow, that is actually beautiful. There's White Day Aizen, who is actually going to be a really damn good support unit for Melee Espada. Keep in mind, he has the same multipliers as Abirama, so he is definitely a must-have to get from the actual banner. And then there's Arena Tsukishimu, which is overall a really good arena character and just a genuinely good tech character to use overall. If you guys love Tsukishima, this is definitely a good character to use, and then Stark is... Meh. He's really not useful for anything, but other than that, you still do have two great fillers that you can actually pull alongside Uryu. And then Ichigo right over here. His banner is not all that bad, actually, because Moe, really good character for Arena and good Ottawa. You can use him for melee no affiliation guild quests just fine if you happen to lack white Ichigo. And then SPS Ichigo, just a good character to use for IT. He does have the Disabler against uh, Power Hollows now. It's been fixed, so now he's definitely going to be really good to use in IT. And uh, Baragon, you can use him for uh, Melee Spada, but realistically speaking, he trashed for guild quests, and honestly, you would only want to pop off him if you're a Baragon fan. And then Chad, uh, Chad's banner is really not that bad at all, because there's Jackie, which you can use for, uh, you know the transcendence quests and uh just overall pretty good i think she has read no affiliation dodges i don't remember i'll have to look into it myself in the next video there's spirit society chad which you can use for melee soul reaper gq if you're not going for nuke runs and then there's arena okio which is just an overall pretty good arena character to use and also a really good sp character to use outside of arena personally me being an ulk fan i might summon for chad's individual to get that last copy i don't know I'll have to see for myself. I'm literally missing one more copy. But um, yeah, these banners are good. I have to say, they're actually really good, especially the individuals. So if you per se don't get too lucky on the main banner, the individuals are going to be the way to go for you guys. So I'll say that much. I'll be doing a Should You Summon video in the next upcoming days. So I hope you guys do stay tuned for that. And uh, those are the banners. 
Yo, Ichigo and Udi are just freaking busted. I actually want him, and Chad is just really good for PvP as well, so <laughs> definitely getting my hand on all three of these characters will definitely be in my odds, but <laughs> yeah. Other than that, I'm definitely gonna summon. I'm glad I skipped Safwi because good god that banner was trash. This one is better. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have actually enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button, share this video with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, and hit the bell notification so that way you guys are up to date with my most recent video. This has been your boy the Death Masher, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Take care lads. Peace out.